Hey Trans and Fit family, so today I have a very very special video. Um, I've been getting this question asked very often. Um, I do a lot of group exercises and I like going to the gym and working out outside the house. Um, so the question for girls like us that often comes my way is how do we go about tucking? And I know it's a very uncomfortable subject, at least for me. Um, so I'm definitely pushing myself out of my comfort zone. So this video is being done for two main reasons. Number one, to help you um, understand how I go about it so that I don't have to think about it when I work out. Because when you're working out, you want to first focus on, you know, your workout, having fun, burning those calories. The last thing in your mind should be what it looks like down there, right? So that's the first reason why I'm doing this video. Number two, because doing this video really, really pushes me outside of my comfort zone. And anytime, and I repeat this every time, anytime you push yourself to being in an uncomfortable zone, in an uncomfortable area, um, this is when our bodies learn, whether it's physically or mentally, or in this case, just a, a challenge to talk about something you're not comfortable with, your body learns. So we learn and we become stronger from doing things we get uncomfortable with. So tip for the week, get uncomfortable, whether it's working out, whether it's talking in public, whether it's making videos about things you're not completely comfortable talking about, just be uncomfortable for long enough until it becomes comfortable. And guess what? You become stronger. You become more powerful, both mentally and physically. So the tip of the week is become uncomfortable. So now let's move on to, and let's talk about talking. So um, there's plenty of videos online on how to actually um, go about tucking. You know, usually you would grab your testicles and push them up in your body and then sort of put your undergarments with it. I am going to put a video on the comments, not on the comments, but on the description below, I'm going to put a video on a video i seen on YouTube that's really, really good and it's sort of funny and it makes it very nice for anybody to follow. But what I want to share with you today is things I wear um, so that it makes it very, very, very easy for me to do. Um, so the number one thing I use is this, and I'm going to put the links for everything that I'm going to mention below. Um, it's called the Women's Compression Shorts. It's from Under Armour. Um, I bought it at Sports Authority. And this is what I use. I have two or three different styles, and, you know, the same thing, different colors. Um, I get it usually a size smaller than you usually do. Point being, it keeps everything in place. That way when you're working out, you really don't have to worry about it. So that under arm is called compression shorts. I'm usually small. So when I decide the phone. Uh, so usually when I uh, buy the under armor, I usually get it extra small. And it keeps everything tight and it's something that, you know what, I'm, I'm working out, I'm in the middle of a class. I do not have to think what it looks like down there. Um, so that that's my great tip. I'm wearing it right now. I'm actually about to go work out in a little bit, but I'm wearing it right now so you can have an idea of what it looks like. I also have somewhat of like this workout pants. Um, and I'm gonna share with you some of the clothing I, I use um, to, sort of, to sort of take that away from my mind, right? Um, the last thing you wanna do is be focusing on what your junk looks like down there while you work out. So um, I make sure to buy very comfortable workout clothes so that I don't have to worry about it and then we can focus on working out and feeling greater and pushing our boundaries and getting better results every day. So um, I usually dress in two layers. A very tight layer, my compression layer, to keep everything down in place down there and then I put something a little more loose on top. So at the end of the day it looks good. I've never gotten any comments or anything like that or people staring at me kind of weird. So um, that's my number one tip. So let me share with you. Let me, I'm going to see if this looks fine. But see, um, you can't see anything. And I'm wearing those. As you can see, sort of like the line over here. Um, I usually wear them a little higher than they're used to. And it keeps everything in place, you can see. Um, so that's my number one tip. Uh, wear like something with compression down there. Um, and then put something a little more loose on top and you'll be fine. Uh, number two tip is wear longer shirts. For example, this is my brand new shirt. I love it. But look at this. I wish I can get on top of it. Here we go. We'll get on top of the bed. So you can see um, a longer shirt when wearing either you have shorts or whatever you want. You can see that having a slightly longer shirt sort of takes that away from you. Like in the sense that 
take that thought away from me. Just keep the low, the shirt low, and it's something you don't have to be freaking out while you work out, right? So number one tip is find something that works for you, and make sure to use it. Um, tie something very compression on the bottom layer, and then something more loose on top. This way. You don't have to be freaking out while you work out. And has it happened to me? Things move around sometimes when I work out. Yes, I've had different types of compression clothing I wear. So this Under Armour, um, as I'm not promoting the brand or anything. I'm just saying uh, it's the one that works out the best for me. And it's not very expensive. So it's a win-win. Just get a one size smaller than you usually wear. So I wear small. Wear extra small for the Under Armour. And you should be fine. So... Um, under armor for compression below. Wear something a little more loose on top so your pants, my pants are small or medium sometimes. Um, and then, and then a long shirt. And then you have to take all that, like you take all that away from your head. I do have some few other things I wanna share, so give me a second. Um, I do get yoga pants like anybody else. Uh, I usually get them in small. They tend to do fine, same thing with, um, with an underarm and you just wear that and it tends to keep everything in place and even if you put very very tight yoga pants uh you'll be fine for the most part uh i've never had like an issue with somebody like pointing a stare that doesn't happen um i usually i got this one at target too it does really good for compression i usually wear this one um when i wear this kind of shorts now these are running shorts and I got these, I believe, in either medium. Yeah, they're medium. So they're a little bit bigger than what I wear, but it's cool because if you keep a tight compression layer down there and then you wear shorts, you can go even with shorter shorts. And as long as they're a little loose, um, never is gonna show anything. So you're fine with that. Also for, for the bras and stuff, um, I don't have really big boobs. I have really, really tiny ones for hormones. So I, I sort of went in that aspect because they're not bouncing all over the place while I work out. So usually some Victoria's Secret, like the smallest models they have, do an amazing good job to keep everything in place. When in doubt and you're not, you're still very, very uncomfortable down there, wear shorts. Easy solution, right? Just wear long shorts, long board, like workout shorts, and they look badass. And on top of that, you don't have to be even worrying about what it looks like down there. Um, these are some other, other longer shirts I have. These are really good to sweat on. So these are really long. Um, usually they'll stand like all the way down here. Like I said, it takes all that thinking away. And and that's that's a goal. Oh, and then I gotta share this one because my little sister gave me this one and I think it's badass. I was obsessed with Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid. So uh, it says training to go Super Saiyan. That's a pretty badass shirt. I wear it all the time. So thank you, Gabby. She gave me that shirt. <laughs> Um, so the number one tip is, well, the, the big tip, the overall takeaway from today is find some good compression for down there. Um, doesn't have to be an under armor, just find some compression shorts, one size smaller than you usually wear down there, and then just go a little looser on top, and then you're set. N not much to it. Uh, it's what I do. Like I said, I will put a video in the description below on how to do the actual talking procedure, or <laughs> not procedure, but process is just pretty basic and and if you sort of wear and work out clothing and you're trans like myself you end up doing it very often like every single day when you work out so it's something you just sort of get used to so that's it that's the tip for the week i hope really really hope that that helped you and gave you an idea on what i do i cannot take full credit for this um the entire year the armor armor the under armor compression shorts was from a fellow girl that's transgender like myself. Um, I don't know if it's okay with me to share who, who she is, but thank you so much for that tip. Um, I sent her a message about a year ago, like, hey, how do you go about it? Because she's a runner. And I thought it was so cool. She gave me this tip and it's been golden since. And before that, I did not have like the guts to go like group exercise. Now I'm like, hell yes, let's do this. So that's definitely took me over the edge of doing group exercises. So. If you're beginning your transition or you're beginning with weight loss and you're not comfortable in a gym atmosphere or you're not comfortable um, doing group exercises or classes, then there's that other option for you. It's what I do all the time is working out at home. Um, working out at home, I lost over 85 pounds doing a combination of different beach body programs. I did like Insanity, T25, Pio, P90X3, you name it, I've done the program. So I know firsthand the program works and 
if you want to get started, you're a little uncomfortable working out um, at the gym or in the classes or whatever, I would say get a hold of me. Either like or comment below. I'm going to get back to you within 24 hours. And I can tell you all about the options, what we have, and what will work for you at the end of the day. Because that's a very important thing. Finding a workout that connects to your heart. Because once you have it down here, like you find a program that just speaks to you. That's it. Like you're gonna wake up every morning. It's like I'm gonna go work out. So we're gonna talk about nutrition. We're gonna talk about psychology. We're gonna talk about working out and doing the best you can to get the results you want. At the end of the day, we can use fitness to truly, truly change the way our body looks and feels, and then the confidence that that brings is like you can't put a price on that. I was gonna say invaluable, but there you go, right? No value on it. You can't put a price on that. So that was your chance and tip of the week. Um, like I said at the beginning, remember to stay uncomfortable for this week. Staying uncomfortable makes us grow both as humans, like I said, physically and mentally. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit a like and comment below. If you found it helpful, please share it with your friends and family. Um, it really means a lot to me. And I do have a new challenge group starting March 16th. So if you'd like to be part of that group, get started with fitness, work out either at home or in gym and classes like or comment below i'll make sure to get a hold of you and we can get you started you all have a good rest of your day bye bye